Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm going to do a um, work on a round MDF board because I've been doing a few of them lately and they've just come out so beautiful, especially when they're resined. They don't actually bend or anything, so they'll make really perfect uh, placemats, table placemats or even trivets if you put them... Um, a resin on top that's heat resistant. Um, so as you can see, I've been busily doing lots of these little things on MDF, having a real lovely time. That one was um, one I'd done on quite a large placemat, um, MDF placemat, and uh, coated it with resin with a bit of dragonfly sparkle in the paint. Now, this paint that I'm using here it was some paint that I had house paint left over, but it was untinted house paint, so kind of like a real yucky, creamy yellow colour. So I thought, I wonder if I can just add some um, pigment to the paint to change the colour. So I added the, that pink. Well, it was actually really bright, vibrant pink, but at least it sent it, you know, like a baby pink instead of a yucky yellow. So I'm just using it up as a base. Uh, it isn't no special paint that, it's not a paint that's meant for the bloom technique, but I just wanted to use it. And it's working pretty fine, so um, I can't really complain. So I'm just layering my colors, which are all pigments mixed. As you know, I don't normally work with pigments. Um, but I did a big batch up for several pieces that I did and I'm still working on um, using them all up and uh, just going for it. So layering all those lovely colours. And we're going to see what we get on this lovely MDF round. Okay, now for my cell activator, which what was in there was just the Amsterdam Black with Floetrol. Um, it gives a different kind of lacy bloom cell than what I get when I'm using my uh, kiss pouring medium. They're completely different looks. So it is nice to change it up and do something different. So I'm going to, yeah, just re-centering that and then put my cell activator on top and let's see the gorgeousness that comes of this. Wow, look at those colours are just popping through. They really are beautiful together. Um, I probably shouldn't put so much black. Anybody know that I'm, is it actually I'm putting too much or am I blowing it a way that it shouldn't be done? I'm not sure. But those lovely colours do start to pop through, especially when I give that little bit of blow. It, it kind of helps the cells pop through as you see there and it does make a really lovely piece so I just know but then uh, this is dried it will make uh, a really the resin coat will really make those colors pop even though I'm just looking at it now thinking oh it is a little bit dark but um, it was fun to do I hope you give it a try and um, that winner winner chicken dinner I reckon So I've really given that a really good spin all 
which ways. Um, I'm thinking it's pretty dark, isn't it? So I've sort of, you know, tried to bring up some more of the colours. So that's what I thought. Get my skewer and do a whirly giggy bit in the middle. So spin a spinner winner, spin a spinner winner winner. Um, and with that, just that one little swirl, I think that looks quite cute. I think that'll come up lovely with a coat of resin. What do you guys think? You tell me. Um, I try to do something different and change it up and uh, not keep the very same technique all the time. So I hope you are enjoying these that I'm doing on the MDF. Um, I think I've got a nice love heart to come. So bye, my lovelies. I'll be back again tomorrow.